Freedom Express 192 RBS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this is a Coachman product, as you may or may not be aware. This is a really super popular floor plan because at, uh, let's see, a 19 foot box, maybe 22 or 23 foot tip to tail, including the tongue and bumper, and 3,800 pounds, just about anybody can tow this thing. It's a sweet little couples camper that's not gonna break the bank, it's not gonna kill your truck, and it's gonna be easy to park and easy to tow. You know, it's something that doesn't take up a lot of space. You could park it beside your garage and you don't have this 35 footer sitting there, you know. Um, there are a lot of travel trailers out there today, more now than ever before. There's also more lightweights, and that's the thing that people forget, is a Freedom Express is both Coachman's highest level lightweight and travel trailer. It fills two roles and it does it very well. And it's, there are qualities on this that you can find on a lot of other travel trailers. However, there are qualities on this that you don't typically find on lightweight travel trailers. And that's where this thing really shines supreme. So let's start digging in here. Um, power awnings, power tongue jacks are like candy nowadays. They just, it's like they're just giving them away. It's like Frampton comes alive, you know, in the suburbs. <laughs> Good old Wayne's World joke. Anyway, um... What you have to look at is the quality of the appliance. The motors on the uh, power awnings and power tongue jacks on the Freedom Express series is just better. They spend an extra dollar for a better quality appliance. I noticed too that you're getting a full length LED light strip at the base of a white bottom awning. White bottom is important because you're going to get indirect light cascading down onto your campsite. So this whole area in here is just going to glow at night. You're not going to have a direct bright light. That's good for two reasons. Because one, if you're parked next to a guy like we are here, He's not going to want your lights in his windows at night. That's not a good way to make a happy camper. And secondly, let's just hypothetically, you know, say you've had a couple barley pops and, you know, the lights are feeling a little bit bitey. Well, you don't have a direct light staring you in the eyes like you can when the lights are mounted directly in the awning tube. I know a lot of people who have added awning mount strips as opposed to awning tube mount strips just because they got tired of staring at a bright light. Um, secondly, you'll find that just about every darn window in this thing opens for ventilation. Um, and these slider windows here, they give you max ventilation. Right here, they are using a big jealousy window because it is a funny rectangular shaped window. It's going to get you more airflow. And it's detail stuff, guys. A lot of lightweights, your stovetop doesn't actually exhaust outside of the camper. It's only a charcoal filter. So it will get the, the cooking smell out of the air, but not the heat. So you're, while you're cooking your food, you're cooking yourself. Now this is an option we've added in here, the pull-out Coleman Camp Grill, and this thing is really sweet. First of all, it's self-storing, so you don't have to give up storage space for it. It's just bonus use of space under the kitchen cabinets in an area that, frankly, you kind of don't get to access otherwise. This also doubles as really easy access to your um, water pump, by the way, for winterization. That's something a lot of guys aren't going to show you is that extra level of in the skin there. Um, so this feeds off those little one pound propane bottles you can get at the camp store and it's a high output grill So if it was windy, it takes a 25 mile an hour wind to blow this flame out as opposed to a five mile an hour Flame that blows out the little two burner stove tops So you can also cook 75 hot dogs per uh, propane bottle. We tried it. We tested. That's a real number um Aluminum wheels not uncommon in lightweights, but hey, they still look good I like to point them out when I see them now largest front storage in its class There are a few other manufacturers who have um, done their best to try to match this But Freedom Express is the reason you're getting bigger compartment doors and bigger compartments in a lightweight trailer So uh, this is three-quarter of a three-quarter ton pickup bed truck. That's quite a bit now where again Freedom Express is still shining supreme is better quality fixtures better quality innovations like that and including a two foot by four foot outdoor picnic table here. And it's a resin top table. It's not wood, it's not press board. It's designed to be left outside. Let's say it rains. Let's say you wake up in the morning and there's, uh, there's moisture on everything just from condensation. That table's fine. You wipe it off with a towel, throw it back in there. Zero problems ever. Lightweights are starting to try to, to be just, they're going, they're, Stepping over, you know, a nickel to pick up a penny is what it is. And they're dropping out things like the diamond plate here. And you see that's not the case on a Freedom Express. You're still getting that stone guard prevention. I mentioned now this has a higher quality tongue jack. Now they shifted the propane tanks forward. And what that allowed them to do was have two an area for two batteries here. Keep in mind, batteries, propane fill, stuff like that. Those are not included from the factory on any camper. 
So uh, those are things that we'll, we'll need to uh, take into account for you. I'd rather, you know, we shoot you straight and we tell you up front. Notice that the spare tire is mounted under the, uh, the tongue here. They leave the rear bumper open on purpose so that you uh, can use it for things like bike racks and whatnot. They welcome that at Coachman, whereas a lot of manufacturers discourage you from adding a bike rack to the bumper. Many manufacturers will actually say, well, you can do it, but you know, if anything happens, it's gonna void your warranty. Well, that's, that's nonsense, so they welcome that opportunity at Coachman. Outdoor shower and lightweight. Sometimes you find them, sometimes you don't. I like to point them out when I see them. So if your grandkids are over, if you're cleaning fish, if you've been on the lake all day, you can, you know, clean them off before you get in your camper. Now let the camera zoom in here a little bit. Now you see the texture on the sidewall of this slide out. That is what is pulling this slide seal taut. So you have the best uh, odds of getting a good seal and uh, the lowest odds of ever encountering a leak or any water penetration. Um, swinging around here. I do want to point out that the uh, the walls of this camper are vacuum laminated, not pinch rolled. Um, there's nothing wrong with pinch rolling, don't get me wrong. I sell products that are built that way, and they're okay. There's nothing wrong with it. This is better though. It costs a dollar more, but it's it's a better process that can hold up better over long term. With uh, When Forest River did their own studies, they said, quote, they felt it was 10 times less likely to delaminate. That's a big statement. That's a very big statement. Notice too, they really can't put a bigger awning on this. They put the max size awning that this roof line will allow. Um, I like the bigger entry handle here too. You know, if you've had a knee or hip replacement or anything, or if you're just gonna slip and fall, it's nice to have something to grab onto. Um, I mentioned how this is under 3,900 pounds. Now, um, an update at the time of this filming that was not previously the case is it used to be you had to kind of go through and flip on a bunch of different lights. Now right here, under the kitchen section, first of all, these are your awning lights, so you can switch that off. But one button, bang, full interior light bank comes off and on with one switch. That is nice, and that's the kind of stuff lightweight trailers aren't doing. Until you spend some serious money on a lot of campers, we're talking over 30,000s, you don't usually find that. Um, so real quick, I want to mention the interior decor we're looking at right now is called Truffle. It's a cloth, a nice light and mid-tone cloth. Um, very popular. I think it's our most popular color scheme in the Freedom Express series, whereas Autumn, I believe, is the most uh, popular in the Liberty Edition. Doesn't matter. Never mind. I get off track. Anyway, um, I'm mentioning this because just like that outdoor kitchen, uh, that little stove that pulls in and out, just like this color scheme, the photos you're looking at might look different from this video. The photos are probably accurate. This video is here is generic stock footage. That being said, Everything that we carry in a 192 is going to be very, very, very similar to this, so it's not like you're looking at a wacky option. This little table here has folding legs. I have it pushed right against the sofa currently, but it kind of forms a purpose now of either a sleeper sofa or a daytime dinette or just a daytime lounge. You can make it do whatever you want. That, so that table can fold down and store under the bed if you like, so it can be in the way, out of the way, whatever. Um, notice, too, that not just the kitchen, but the table here, the bathroom, all the countertops in this are all sealed edge. There's no seams where water can get into. So if you spill an iced tea or if you're splashing around uh, doing dishes, you don't have to worry about water getting in your countertop and bulging and sponging it. It's not a common thing, but it's terrible when it happens. There's no easy way to fix it or replace it. Um, a lot of people walk into a Freedom Express go, it just feels bigger and they can't put their finger on it and they're exactly correct. This is 81 inches tall, not an industry standard 78 inches tall, as is the case with most lightweights. Nothing wrong with a 78 inch tall camper. I'm a tall guy and they fit me fine. However, 81 inches tall is going to get you a taller shower. So guys like me can stand up without my head in the bubble. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Um, 81 inches tall means a taller slide out. The slide is now three inches taller. That's what allows us to have cabinets up here and a nice window instead of one or the other. Uh, that extra height also just means more walking space when you're moving around, and that's always a welcome thing. Um, so you see we've got lots of storage going on just around the bed here, and a very truly walk-around bed. Both sides of the bed do have power outlets uh, and little bedside stands, so you you know, you know do get, like, uh, you can run your uh, CPAP machines to charge your phones and stuff over there. Over the sofa, we have another LED light fixture. All the interior lights are 100% LED. Above the bed, we have twin LED reading lights. You see that there's your surround sound speakers up there. Uh, this does have indoor and outdoor 
um, speakers that you can operate independently. So you can turn off the outdoor speakers or the indoor or whatever you want. Above the bed, they do like to add a vent here for cross ventilation and both uh, uh, sides of the bed have windows that do open for ventilation as well. Um, 80 inch bed, true 80 inch queen bed, which is something very few other lightweights are doing. Uh, that means that again, tall guys like me don't have to leave their feet hanging off the bed. Notice the television here. It's on a nice little swing arm so it can face the living room, the kitchen, it can turn around to face the bedroom, it can face wherever you want. So you only need one TV to service this RV. And you don't have to bring along extra electronics because this does everything. This is your DVD player and your stereo. And uh, it's got Bluetooth on it. It has an alarm. You don't even need to bring an alarm clock. Although, <laughs> I can tell you from personal experience, if you set the alarm on this, make sure you don't have the volume cranked to like 30 because the neighbors don't want the outside speakers ble uh, blaring at 2 in the morning. Just take, take my advice on that. Um, awesome storage going on in here, and that is something that I think Freedom Express has always done one of the very best jobs of, and everybody else is playing catch up with now, is just the, the total quantity of storage they have going on is great. Like three full extension pull-out drawers right here, so you've got more than enough room for all your flashlights and uh, grill lighters and all that stuff. Um, even under the sink, I mean, this is the best use of space under a sink I have ever, ever seen. Um, you know, this is the perfect place for all of your utensils and whatnot. And hey, if it gets dirty, you can just pull it out and clean it. It's not like it's fixed in there. Even down here, they're doing the best job I've really seen by opening this up as much as they can. And it's the stupid little things that make the difference, guys. The fact that they just, they just give you a spot for a trash can. So many trailers don't do that. Most trailers, especially lightweights, are terribly guilty for this. They make you just tie your Walmart or Target plastic shopping bag to the handle. Now you've got this big ugly trash bag dangling in your living room. And if you're trying to pour something in it, half the time it slops against your cabinetry. It's just a mess. Now you don't have to worry about it. I told you uh, we, this is 81 inches tall and that means bigger cabinetry. Um, so you have more storage space here. And this is pocket screwed. A lot of lightweights, they will glue or staple the pieces of wood together. A lot of times this piece of wood will be stapled to this one. This is pocket screwed. Let me see if hopefully that kind of comes into the shot there. I can't see it. I don't know. So if it doesn't, my apologies. Um, oh, here we go. American stone cast sink. This is something that Coachman's very good about. They American source as many products as they can. And that's something that pretty much any of us can get behind. And uh, if you're one of our Canadian neighbors up north, well, you're, you're shopping at an American dealer right now anyway, so there you go. <laughs> Next to the uh, refrigerator, let me close this real quick. Next to the refrigerator, we do have a, a good-sized pantry here as well. So uh, this can also, you could very easily put a little hanging rod in here and make this a closet space. But they specifically leave this open, so if you want to put one of those little shelf organizers, oh, i got to clean my camera lens, look at that. You can put one of those little shelf organizers in here if you want to. Or you can put bigger stuff in here. They allow you that opportunity. Um, over here in the, oh, the, the water heater, by the way, is gas and electric, which is not uncommon today. Coachman does spend the extra dollar to put a fast recharge water heater in this, meaning you can run gas and electric together. I think I said electric, which is not a word, but I think you know what I meant. Um, good size bathroom in here. It's uh, on a, I tell you what, on a smaller camper, you couldn't ask for much more. I have got, you know, I'm a six foot three guy with long legs wearing uh, these little shoe boot combination things. And you see, I do not have leg room trouble in here. Um, again, sealed edge countertop here in the bathroom, so you're not going to water damage this. They do give you a medicine cabinet where a lot of brands are only doing a mirror. Uh, medicine cabinet, because, I mean, you don't have counter space here. Not a lot. Let's let's be just frank with one another. You need every ounce of this you can. You're going to put maybe a shaver here while you're using your toothbrush. You don't want them laying out all the time. So they give you the space to do that. They keep all that stuff in here out of the way. So again, we are taller. This is a taller camper. You see that my head does not have to be in the bubble. Um, pardon my receding hairline. That is not my choice. That is nature. Anyway, we have both a skylight as well as a power vent fan here. A lot of lightweight brands to save a dollar, they will put this power vent fan above the shower and it just doesn't work as well. You just don't get the light. This thing is made to give light. This thing is not. So uh, additionally, a shower wall surround paneling. They're putting 
the protective panels on here. If they didn't, the shower water that sprayed off your body would normally just hit wall panels like this. And over time, it would be like if you uh, put steam on a stamp on an envelope, the stamp would start to peel off of the envelope. That's what would happen here. The wallpaper would peel off. Now we don't have that problem. And hey, we have an easy tub, not a shower. You know, or <laughs> other way, easy shower, not a step-in tub. Completely the opposite of what I said. It sounds like I should start wrapping this up because I'm getting tongue-tied. So give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Have some fun, everybody.